Hi guys and welcome back to another Anchor Up Devlog. Today in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the progress that I've made on my indie game in the past few months. And the reason I say months instead of weeks is because of the fact that I've had a lot of preparing for exams and that sort of thing. So development has been limited, however, uh, I've still got some stuff to share with you. So this week we'll be covering the theme song that I've made for the game, as well as the audio systems and using namespace as part of the audio systems. Uh, a new level that I've made as well as COGS, which are as part of a dynamic objects system that I've also uh, added in. So first off was the actual theme song, and it's something I can do kind of after doing some revision or something like that. It's not as intense as doing like whole systems like in code for the game. So I kind of wanted something that I could loop certain section of, sections of in the menu uh, and then kind of transition between the different parts because writing game music is quite different to writing normal music in the sense that they do need to be able to transition if the player changes the situation. So if you don't want to listen to the theme song, then skip to 329. Let me know what you think to the theme song in the comments below, I'd be interested to hear any feedback that you've got on that. So after I'd finished making the theme song, I then started work on the actual audio systems. So this was going to work on kind of three different audio systems for like the sound effects, the menu effects, and the music, so there's like the three different audio sources. Uh, and then also along with that, this is the first time I'm actually using audio mixers in Unity, so that way I can kind of adjust the volume on the go of different um, uh, of the mix between effects and music. I also made a music looping system that can dynamically change depending on what the player is doing and this is what I ended up with. Admittedly, there are still some things that I need to fix in terms of preloading audio so that way there's not a small gap between some bars like you may have heard. Uh, and the other thing that I spoke of earlier was namespaces. So I was doing some T-Mod Loader uh, recently, which is kind of like the Terraria modding 
tool basically and they had a very effective way of using enums for playing sound effects so I kind of wanted to replicate something similar to that so that's why at the top of all of my audio scripts there's going to be a thing that just says uh, using audio tags and there's just a collection of enums and the next thing was the cogs so cogs are going to work by having uh, a detection system so if anything changes in its immediate surroundings so a block to the left right uh, above it but not diagonal uh, then basically it will pull back an object that it is attached to so I started by modeling out the cog model itself and then creating the detection system so the detection system basically just um, keeps in memory if a tile next to it was full and if that has changed between one go and the next and the next go it will then activate it so these are dynamic chains so the chain model will actually kind of uh, shrink or grow depending on if it's pushing or pulling the object so as you can see it will shrink there uh, and that's basically just an array of little chain pieces that are all just kind of getting joined together in the right place effectively and this works for both pushing and pulling so then this will mean that you can make more dynamic things when a level creation system is added in or even for some of the future levels in the main campaign so this now gives way to things like timers um, uh, tap gates as you can see and also like sensors for both enemies and players I also want to change this bit of code here so it can also detect projectiles and those can also activate them I still need to upgrade to URP However, because of all the speed that I brought out at the minute, when I do get a chance to work on the project, I kind of wanted to do some programming and stuff like that. However, that is one of my little admin jobs for the holidays. If you are interested in keeping up to date with the project, then you can wishlist it on Steam. The link will be in the description. I saw recently that we got past 75 wishlists, which is absolutely great, and I couldn't thank everyone enough for the support. It really does mean a lot. Uh, if you are interested in keeping up to date with this project on YouTube, then subscribing is the best way to do that and would be very much appreciated. I do hope to get another devlog up by Christmas-ish, because I know I'll be able to do like a lot more progress during the holidays when I'm not having to do so much studying. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.